Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. You can see here I have default.html page with the basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to CSS properties demo. You can see I have already opened default.html page in the Chrome. Title is set to CSS properties demo. I go to the body section. Here I say hello HTML exclamation mark. Then I use a break tag. I copy this. Paste it few times. 1, 2, 3, 4. File, save. I go to Chrome. I say refresh. You can see that hello HTML exclamation mark got displayed 5 times. What if we want to display this HTML exclamation mark italic? Of course, we have i tag in HTML. I can use that opening i tag. Then I say here closing i tag. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that first HTML exclamation mark got displayed italic. Also I have told in the HTML video tutorial series that in place of i tag we can use the em tag that is emphasize text. I can say here closing em tag. This HTML exclamation mark is going to be displayed now in italic. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the second HTML exclamation mark also got displayed in italic. What if we want to display this HTML exclamation mark that is the third HTML exclamation mark should be in the italic without using the i and em tag. What I can do is I can take help of CSS property. There is a CSS property which help us to display the text in italic, normal or oblique that is font style property. Font style property is used to specify the style of the text to be displayed. Whether the text should be displayed normal italic or oblique. These are the three values that you can give to the font style property. Let's see the demonstration. As i and em tag are inline level tags, I am going to say here span tag which is an inline level tag, opening span and closing span. Then I am going to create one class. So I say class attribute value. Here I say display italic and then I am going to take this display italic, copy that and in the style section I say dot display italic. We know that dot indicates CSS class selector. Here I say font dash style. Font style should be italic semicolon. What I am telling to the browser? Locate any HTML element in this page. If it has the class attribute value set to display italic, then apply the font style italic to it. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the third HTML exclamation mark also displayed in the italic format. Even we have oblique value. I am going to say here oblique. File save. What oblique does means it displays the text little bit more italic and little bit strong. If I go to the browser and say refresh, you can see that this HTML exclamation mark, the third HTML exclamation mark is little bit more italic and little bit having more weight, right? And also we can use the normal normal, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the text is displayed back into normal. So we can give three different values to the font style to display the text in normal, italic as well as oblique. Let's have a small test. Like I'm going to say here P. I say paragraph text closing P tag. I'm going to copy this and paste it down. File, save, go to browser and refresh. We have paragraph text, paragraph text displayed. Now I want you to make this paragraph text to be displayed in the italic. By using the CSS, I want you to display this paragraph text italic. Here what I do, I just simply use the class attribute value set to display italic, right? Now I have set this paragraph element class attribute value set to display italic. Here I am telling to the browser, locate any HTML element in this page. Locate any HTML element in this. If its class attribute value set to display italic, display that into italic format. Now this text and this paragraph is going to be in italic. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that this and this are in italic. Now I want you to display this paragraph text in bold. What you have to do? Of course you have to create one class called as display bold and then you have to use font weight bold semicolon and then here you have to use the class attribute value set to display bold simple file save go to browser and refresh the text displayed in bold hope you guys have understood how we can use font weight and font style 
For this tutorial, this much is enough friends. In the next tutorial, we discuss some more CSS properties. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.